You know what I what I really liked about the 2012 vintage wines is that there's a nice uh, depth of fruit, uh, which we don't always see in, in Brunel, but their wines are, are are ripe, they're rich, they still got all the power and the structure that we want from a wine like Brunel de Montalcino, but it still speaks to sort of that North American palate that wants a little bit more fruit, wants a little bit more generosity, and a wine that uh, drinks well from when it's very, very young, uh, right up to when it's uh, it's mature. Well, I, I think the thing that differentiates it, it differentiates it so uh, so quickly would be saying that extra period of aging. You know, that that period of time between the harvest and when the wine is available for release is much longer than we see with most other wines. But it does also speak to the quality of the wine and the characteristics of the characteristics of the wine because the wines are uh, are powerful, incredible. There there's a tremendous structure within the wines. But when they're released, they're, they've got that little bit of age just to say, you know, there's that extra complexity uh, and you're going to be impressed sort of no matter what.